Greetings. My name is Margaret Erickson, and I'm the CEO for AH&CC. Today, I'm going to talk to you about commonly asked questions regarding recertification and try and answer those basic questions for you. How often do I need to renew my certification? The certification is good for five years. It starts as soon as you have passed your certification examination and it actually expires the last day of the month you were certified. You will receive recertification information one year, six months, and three months prior to the expiration, and then again after you have expired. We know you've worked hard for your certification and we don't want you to lose it. Next, how do I recertify my credentials? The recertification application can be found on the HNCC website under the recertification navigator bar that is at the top of the website. If you click on that link, it will take you to information about recertification as well as the recertification application. Next, what if I don't renew before my certification expires? If your certification expires, you have two years from the expiration date to reactivate your credentials before you would need to take the test to be recertified. So don't panic. You also have other options to consider. The question then would be, what are my options if I can't meet the renewal requirements? You can go to inactive status. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and you can be inactive for three years before needing to renew. Or you can retake the certification examination instead of meeting the renewal requirements. You would choose what is the best option for you. And we're always available if you have questions. The next question, when is my recertification application due? Your application is due 30 days prior to the exp expiration date so that we have time for processing. When can I send in my recertification application? Your application can be sent in up to three months prior to your expiration date. This is a very big question that many people have, and that is what activities will be accepted to meet the 100 CE hours or the 100 hours of continuing competency requirement? In other words, 100 hours of continuing competency are required for every five-year renewal period. HNCC recognizes that people learn through different activities and pathways. With that in mind, there are many different ways to earn continuing competency hours. So what kind of activities are accepted to meet the 100 hours of continuing competency requirement? Besides traditional C and E's, you can get credit for multiple activities that could include writing or reviewing test items, being a preceptor, doing professional presentations or publications, doing research, committee membership, projects, and other activities. So how would you find out about what activities would be credited and how many credit hours or continuing competency hours can you get for those activities? To learn more about ways to meet the 100 continuing competency hours, competency hours requirement, you can go to our website and under resources, the resources tab on the top navigator bar, you would click on that and then scroll down to professional development activities. And midway through that page are the different activities that HNCC recognizes for continuing competency hours. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at recertification at hncc.org or call us at 785-267-0943. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.